Hi, my name is David Davis, and this demo is on monitoring CPU metrics with the vSphere client, and it's part of my VMware vSphere performance monitoring video training course. Now here in the vSphere client, if I just click on an individual ESX host, over on the right-hand side here, you can see the resource utilization. First off, what catches your eye is that the CPU usage on this particular server is 9,532 megahertz, and you can see from the bar right here that our capacity, our total CPU capacity is being maxed out. Our total CPU capacity is four cores times 2.26 gigahertz. So let's use the calculator on that. So if I take 2.26 and I multiply that, say, times roughly 1,000, I get 2,260 megahertz per core. And then if I multiply that times 4, I get 9,040 megahertz available for this particular ESX host. And it says that we're using now 9,566 megahertz. Wow, so we're actually using more than the total capacity. I'm not sure how uh, vCenter is calculating that, but obviously we're using 100%. We're using all of our capacity here. If we go into the configuration and then into processors, it looks like there's a slight difference here in the number of gigahertz available per core. So on the model here, it says that we have 2.27 gigahertz processors, but the processor speed here says 2.3 gigahertz. So that may explain the additional capacity um, that vSphere is reporting that we're actually using there. Now let's go into the Performance tab. And the Performance Overview here for the last day shows a sudden spike in CPU utilization. Let's go to the Real-Time View. And we can see, yes, we are indeed using 100% of the CPU utilization in percentage, in the percentage view right here, which was the statistic named CPU usage average. That was the internal vCenter statistic. So that's being used at 100%. If we scroll down here, here's the other CPU statistic here, CPU usage megahertz average. So we can see we are indeed pushing right around 9,500 megahertz. The graph uh, keeps updating here. It makes it a little hard to view for any uh, long period of time. But we are using around 9,500 megahertz right there. So just around 100%. Now, CPU ready isn't shown on here, of course, because I said that's a virtual machine statistic. But let's go into the advanced view. And here, looking at CPU utilization in the advanced view down here in the performance chart legend, take a look at usage right here. It says uh, the usage in percentage. That's the first one we talked about. The latest report is 100% utilization. The maximum is 100. And the average is 99.615%. Then we have the usage in megahertz right here, and you can see that's up around 9,438. That's the latest. The maximum was 9,809, and the average is 9,460. So that's this line right up here that's uh, kind of an orangish color. So that's for the entire ESX server. We can also go into chart options here, and we take a look at CPU utilization here, uh, no matter for what time period you select. There's a lot more values than just those two. If we scroll down here, you can see all the different options that are available. Notice the internal name for this one is usage, and it's also an average roll-up statistic. So that's where they get CPU usage average, and then there's CPU usage megahertz average. And over here in this document that I referenced, you can find more explanations for all these different CPU statistics. So it's a great place to read up on those, as well as some of the other documents that I'll be referencing here in just a minute. Now let's go over to the individual virtual machine. We can see that this virtual machine is consuming around 6,000 megahertz of the host's available CPU. And we said, remember, over on the host, that we had around 9,500 um, total megahertz available. So it's using a very high amount of that host physical CPU capacity. If we go to the performance charts here, and I'm in the overview view, and I've set the time range here to real time, I'll just click update, and you can see that we are using a very high amount of the virtual machine CPU availability. But something interesting occurs here. Notice it says we're only using 35% of the CPU. So you would think that we would be using 100% of the CPU. 
We did see that the ESX host is using 100% of its CPU. Let's go over to the guest operating system inside this virtual machine and take a look at that. This virtual machine has got eight vCPUs and it is using 100% of them. So you would think that over in the vSphere client, we should be using 100% of the vCPUs. However, that's not how it's calculated. Let's go down here to our calculator. And I can tell you that the CPU percentage shown in this screen for the virtual machine is the total number of megahertz configured for that virtual machine divided by the total number of megahertz that are being used. So in this case, the virtual machine is configured with eight vCPUs, and we know that the CPU speed of the processors on our physical server are around 2.23 um, gigahertz. So if we multiply that out, we get the 9,500 or so number. And if we look down here on the bottom right, you can see that this virtual machine, just like we saw in the summary tab, is using around 6,000 megahertz. So if we take the eight logical processors that should be available to this vCPU and we multiply it out times the amount of gigahertz that in theory each logical processor should have, it's 2.23. So that's around 18 gigahertz that should be available to this individual virtual machine. But if we look at the graph down here on the bottom, we can see it's using around 6,000 megahertz. So to arrive at this 30 something percent number here, that you see on this graph, we can take the six gigahertz and divide it by 18 and we get 0.33. So roughly 30% of the capacity that should be available to this virtual machine is being utilized. And perhaps this help graph right here will explain it in a little bit better detail because it has the formula right here. So you can see the formula for the usage percent of an individual virtual machine is the usage in megahertz which we saw is around 6,000 megahertz, divided by the number of virtual CPUs times the core frequency. So the number of virtual machines configured on this uh, virtual machine is eight, times the core frequency is 2.23. Back to the calculator. We've got 6,000 megahertz in use, and then we divide that by around 18,000 to get the 0.33. So that's the roughly 30 something percent that's being utilized here on this graph. And to me, initially it can be very deceiving, but once you understand that that's how it's calculated, it all makes sense. So you see also down here, the CPU usage in megahertz. And if we go to the advanced graph here, we also have the same numbers, CPU usage as a percent and CPU usage as the number of megahertz. But I want to talk about ready now. If we go to the chart options, you can see there's a number of different counters available to you here that you can view. I want to uncheck usage and megahertz, and I want to just show you ready. So ready is shown here in milliseconds. You can see it says units milliseconds right there. The internal name is ready. I'm just going to graph that, and I'm going to graph it for the entire virtual machine. So this virtual machine has eight objects here under CPU, zero through seven. Those are the eight virtual CPUs. We're going to graph it for all of them. I'll say okay here. And now we're looking at the CPU ready for this virtual machine. So if we look at the latest value, it says it's 40,000. The maximum is 42,000 and the average is 39,000. If we go over to our friend, the calculator, and we take that latest value of 39,000 and we divide it by 20,000. That's because samples are only taken every 20 milliseconds as they're shown in the vSphere client. So we want to convert this to a percent. We're going to divide it by 20,000 and we get 1.95. Now that's not 1%, that's actually 195%, uh, which is really bad. That's much more than 10%. Uh, 195% is actually um, a lot more than 10%. So we've got major um, CPU problems here. Uh, these virtual CPUs are spending 195% of their time, more than all of their time waiting to get access to the physical CPU. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.